Good morning! Welcome to Storytime with Miss Shantae. And we're doing our spooky Halloween October stories. So this today we are going to be doing The Teeny Tiny Woman by Paul Galden. So let's get started. Here we go. The Teeny Tiny Woman. The Teeny Tiny Woman. A ghost story. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny woman who lived in a teeny tiny house in a teeny tiny village. Now one day, this teeny tiny woman put on her teeny tiny bonnet and stepped out of her teeny tiny house to take a teeny tiny walk. And when the teeny tiny woman had gone a teeny tiny way, she came to a teeny tiny gate. See the little gate? So the teeny tiny woman opened the teeny tiny gate and went into the teeny tiny churchyard. And when the teeny tiny woman had got into the middle of the teeny tiny churchyard. What do you think she found? Do you know? Let's see. Oh, she saw a teeny tiny bone on a teeny tiny grave. And the teeny tiny woman said to her teeny tiny self, this teeny tiny bone will make me some teeny tiny soup for my teeny tiny supper. So she took it home. So the teeny tiny woman put the teeny tiny bone into her teeny tiny pocket and went home to her teeny tiny house. And it started to rain. When the teeny tiny woman got back to her teeny tiny house, she was a teeny tiny bit tired. So she went upstairs to her teeny tiny bedroom. <gasps> oh, I'm sleepy. When the teeny tiny woman got into her teeny tiny nightgown and put her teeny tiny bone into her teeny tiny cupboard. And when the teeny tiny woman climbed into her teeny tiny bed and went to sleep. When the teeny tiny woman had been asleep for a teeny tiny time, she was awakened by a teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard and the voice said, Give me my bone. The teeny tiny woman was a teeny bit frightened, so she hid her teeny tiny head under the teeny tiny covers and went to sleep again. When the teeny tiny woman had been asleep again for a teeny tiny time, the teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard said again in a teeny tiny bit louder, Give me my bone! This made the teeny tiny woman a teeny bit more frightened. So she hid her teeny tiny head a teeny tiny bit further under the teeny tiny covers. Ooh. And when the teeny tiny woman had been asleep again for a teeny tiny time, the teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard said again, a teeny tiny bit louder, Give me my bone! 
This made the teeny tiny woman a teeny bit more frightened, so she stuck her teeny tiny head out of the teeny tiny covers and said in her biggest teeny tiny voice, Take it! And after that, she put her teeny tiny head back under the teeny tiny covers and all was quiet. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of the teeny tiny woman. Stay tuned for the next stories coming up. Have a great day. Bye.